that hand is closest to the, to the earring itself, okay? And you're not going to be doing this. No, do this. Here. So you're going to be nice, straight line. Think about finishing it. Boom. 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 Reaching out. Kicking forward. Grabbing. And then bring yourself up, okay? So that's going to be that. Next workout. Last one. Okay. So modify high heel cue. You're gonna come out here. You're gonna throw your body forward. Push ups. Bring yourself forward. Boom. Okay. Working this. And you're only gonna do one side. Here we go. And you're not gonna switch. Anytime. You're staying on one side the whole duration of the workout. The next time you come back, you rotate on here. You'll do the other side. Then you're gonna get on. Put your feet out here, but right now, I think between you, Tro, and James, you guys are a little bit different height. So, third it, you just put one foot back, stay on one side, and work that same motion. Getting up, bring yourself back, forward and back. Working your weight, working your weight. Okay, both does not move if you're doing this. Uh, it does, uh, does, but it moves very slowly, and it definitely moves even slower when you do this. Okay? Set, come back up, set, come back up. Throw your weight forward and back. So you get that sensation while you're doing, working on this as well. So, and all you're going to do is control. Okay? If you put your weight on it, you run the risk. So, you run the risk of the ball getting tied up. So working that twist until you feel your left or right oblique, your outside oblique stretched out along with your lat. Okay? So this area here is stretched out and working out like so. Okay? Coming up, back and forth. Uh, back and forth. And I just put my weight on there. So try not to put all your weight on it just enough so you can get Move it. Then, you're done with that. I'm here by the 15 pound ball. You're gonna pick up, you're gonna pick it up, you're gonna pick it up like so, and then you're gonna slam it down. And as you slam down, you're going down with it. Pick it up, slam. Pick it up, slam. Okay, the idea is you want to feel that ball in your hands the whole time and then letting it go. Okay, slam it, and when you slam it, you bring yourself down with it, pick it right back up. Next workout, what you're going to do is you're going to get on the bands here. Make sure before you mount, get it all locked in, get your feet planted, make sure both feet are planted, you're going to come up, you're going to stretch, you're just going to hinge forward, and then hit modified deadlift, just a deadlift, okay, just to your knees. And then, okay. So, okay. Last support workout. You're gonna grab the TRX man. You're gonna, gonna get here. You're gonna lean back. Get your hands out. Lean. Make yourself like a, like an angle. Just a straight angle. And you're gonna do is you're gonna have your hands like so. And you're going to bring, as you come up, you're going to bring your body up. Notice how my top hand isn't breaking. There's none of this. It's straight. For the most part, but my wrist is broken. Okay? So the same thing. I come up, and I'm pushing down with this bottom hand. And my top wrist is broken, not my elbow. Okay? There you go. <laughs> And working your core, let your hip, when you're here, shoot your hip forward. Okay? Shoot your hip forward. And at the same time, grab with your hands. More like again, hip, 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 hip. Okay? Any questions?